Does anywhere have a Nintendo Switch killer on their hands? All right, so this is really interesting because just yesterday there were rumors of a Nintendo Switch Pro that was going to go into production into 2020. And in my previous video, I said that I don't think that a Nintendo Switch Pro is needed in 2020. And then today we get this release or concept from Alienware called the Concept UFO which is just a more powerful, more premium Nintendo Switch clone. So here's the video on their Twitter account showing it off. And from what I've seen in this video, from what I read in articles, this just really looks like a more premium version and a more powerful version of the Nintendo Switch. With one major big difference is that it is for mobile PC gaming and you're gonna have access to an entire Windows 10 PC on this device. Now what stands out to me from reading this article, they talk about it right away, is that Alienware usually doesn't bring their concepts out to the public, but they did with this. So obviously they're very confident in the product. The biggest thing about this and the biggest differences about the concept UFO from anything out there right now is that it has an entire Windows 10 PC in it. So like I said, you can dock this on a big screen and you can access Windows 10 like you're just using a PC. The actual design of it and the body of it is made in aluminum, so it's a lot more premium. And the actual power of this from what people saw when they were seeing the games on it clearly has a lot more power than any, than the Nintendo Switch or any other mobile gaming stuff out there right now. The specs weren't actually revealed, but one thing we do know is that it does have an 8-inch screen, which is a bigger screen than the Nintendo Switch, which I think is about a 6.2-inch screen. So another thing that is very much like the Nintendo Switch is the fact that it has a kickstand and you can play this in kickstand mode by taking the Joy-Cons off, either having one in each hand or using this sort of similar grip that they're gonna have that you can slot them in there and then play the concept UFO in kickstand mode. And then again, like I said, you can fully dock to your TV, to your monitor, whatever you want, but it has an entire Windows 10 PC in it. So it really is just more of a PC that can take on the go than a dedicated mobile PC device. So we've seen those before in the past and I don't know if they sold very well. I don't think they did, but we can start here back in 2013 with the Razer Edge Pro that came out and it was it was a tablet based mobile gaming device that Razer had put out that was just a tablet with a Windows 10 on it, Windows 10 functionality, mobile functionality UI that you could attach controllers to. And then we got the Nvidia Shield, which again was another mobile gaming device that had a controller with a screen attached to it that you flipped up and this also came out in 2013 but it didn't have a full pc spec to it going forward with this is going to be interesting how they handle everything because you're going to have obviously many different launchers on it if you want to get access to all games so you'd have to have like steam you'd have to have origin you'd have to have you play you'd have to have epic game store so that's a problem that they're probably gonna have to figure out how they're going to amalgamate all that if they want to have a one stop shop when you're playing this on the go and then there is the question of do PC gamers want something like this? Is this is something that would sell and is it even really needed? I think that this, depending on the price of it and depending on what Nintendo comes out with with the Nintendo Switch Pro, which may be one of the reasons why they're thinking about a Nintendo Switch Pro because they have all this insight of all of this competitor stuff that's gonna be coming out to kind of counter it. I think that as a PC gamer, as someone who has a good PC to play games on, I probably wouldn't want this because if I'm playing games on my PC, I want to play it with a mouse and a keyboard. I want to be sitting at my computer and I want to get the full experience and have a big monitor to play on. But I definitely can see this could be appealing to somebody who doesn't have a great gaming PC, wants to get into PC gaming and wants to make that choice between buying a big desktop or something like this that actually can function as a PC on its own. But then you have the option of taking these games that you're going to be playing while it's docked on the go whenever you are, just like the Nintendo Switch. We'll have to wait and see what people think about this if it ever actually hits the market. This is actually just a concept, like I said, but they are bringing it out to the public. So they're obviously very confident in it. They want to see what people say. They want to see if this is something they should start mass producing and then finally sell to consumers. But will this be a Nintendo Switch killer? I don't think so. I mean, the Nintendo Switch thrives not because it's the most powerful, not because it has the best quality build, but because of all of the amazing games you can get on the Nintendo Switch. The first party Nintendo games primarily, 
And then they have tons of third party support as well. And they have just some of the best marketing out there for video games. So if Nintendo does release a Nintendo Switch Pro now, they are going to have a direct rival. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because it's pretty interesting timing that with the rumors of the Nintendo Switch Pro, and now they're showing off this thing here that is kind of like a Nintendo Switch Pro that is being released by Alienware that plays PC games and it is a full PC. So I think it's really interesting. I'm interested to see if this will ever hit the market, what people are gonna think about this, if this would interest somebody. If you're a PC gamer, I would love to know what you think. Would you pick up something like this? Would you want something like this? Maybe if you're playing games on your PC, you could have this on the side when you're going out and stuff. That could be one of the options that makes it appealing. But really let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.